What is good, ladies and gentlemen? What's happening with y'all? I highly doubt you can hear me right now, and I'm trying my best not to yell because we're in this packed brewery. But uh, welcome to my channel. This is something I'm thinking about doing regularly. So I just look as soon as I can figure out where the damn camera is. But I am hoping to do like a vlog series, just showing like you know this comedy adventure that I'm on right now. So I'm over at Big Top Brewing Company here in Pensacola, Florida. We about to get it in. We about to have us some fun tonight. I'm going second. Look at my boy Andre. I, I'm sure the camera got you. There you go. You wanna you wanna be the cameraman? No. I'm good. Oh, okay. You wanna be on the camera? Who? Who? Who the fuck is that? Look at who the fuck is that? So literally, whatever I I don't want in here, I'm probably just gonna edit out. So you know, I'm not gonna put nobody else's set or anything like that up there. But I'm gonna just have this go. Say it again. Yeah, just playing. Just just hanging out, chilling and whatnot. Yeah, it's looking at me. And then when it's my turn to go up there, I'm flipping. That way I ain't, you know, intruding on nobody else's stuff. And then I even told um, one of the dudes outside, like, if I do end up recording it, I'm just gonna edit it out. I don't mind giving everybody links, that way they have like the Carfax. Trust me, I don't wanna steal nobody's material. I got too much staying pride. Which spot were you at? Cause I saw you pull in, but then you just kept going and I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. He found something better. Nah, I pulled in over here. And then I was like, I saw this spot over here. Uh -huh. And I was like, I don't want to take the parking lot. Mm. I should have. I should probably do that. But I'm already institutionalized. I'm acclimated to this already. They know I'm going to spend my $5 here at uh, this damn parking spot. So they got like three other places so far. I already told you about the one on Wednesdays. Yeah. And then there's a actual, that's a seven o'clock spot. There's a nine o'clock spot too on Wednesdays. Yeah. No, at um down in Milton, closer to where I live. Yeah. Say it again. I I don't know. I'm on the fence. And then they just opened up a Thursday spot as well. I guess it's called Whiskey Runners. So I'm thinking about going over there. She I don't know. And then there's like a 420 pizza spot. So I'm like, all right. I, I can go to perform, huh? In the afternoon? Well, yeah, yeah, in the, at night. Oh, you said yeah. 420, I thought you meant like time in the day. Nah, nah, not our 420, not the, not the 420 we can acknowledge. The weed heads. Man, look, I tell you, I, uh, every time I go back and look at that last video that I posted, I feel bad for the dude that I was messing with in the front row. I'm gonna do my best not to mess with nobody this time. <laughs> What's up? Well, I just saw the look on his face after I go back and just rewatch the rewatch the film. You know what I mean? So that's why I'm like, all right, I'm gonna do better. Especially because you know, whenever I'm on the actual stage, I won't be able to do that in the first place. You know what I mean? You know what I mean by that? Yeah. I mean, you can't touch nobody on stage. Yeah. I got it. Well, ain't anyway, I sat there and held on to. I just did that, and then I pushed on. <laughs> that was similar to what he did. <laughs> you about to say, yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> it's the, I guess he's not my first victim. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they are. That's why I'm uh, I'm on the fence about this one joke that I thought about. That I've been thinking real hard about too. I'm just trying to figure out how I'm gonna work on it because it's like pushing it. Now, I'll take it back. It's not pushing. It steps over every line that you can think of. But it's not It's not gratuitous, you know what I mean? I'm not just up there yelling every fucking word in the book just because, you know, I feel like it. I'm saying it with an intent and purpose behind it. And that's what I've been trying to focus on. I'm trying to go from funny to hilarious, man. Oh, man, this is going to be, this is going to be intense, man. Wait. That's why I'm trying to I'm trying to solidify. I know I'm funny. 
I'm trying to move them all around funny. That's why I try not to yell as soon as I get the microphone. Because what'd you say? What'd you tell me? You was like, Kevin Hart, what'd you do? He's loud. He just screams and he's just loud. Yeah, but it's like part of his thing though. Because he's short. Mm -hmm. I think, how tall is he? 5'4? Five, five, about five four, five six. Yeah. 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 We're like around the same height. Mm -hmm. It's easy, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It doesn't make sense when you scream. Mm -hmm. You got a big chunk of his knife. But like people that are short, really? they're always like no, 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 no. we gotta speak louder for people to hear us. Mm -hmm. Things like that. That means. Well, they say on Family Guy, when you in front of a bear, you gotta make yourself look bigger than what you actually are. Yeah. Yeah. You can do it up to a point, mm -hmm. and then it just starts getting old. It's that side is to me. Mm -hmm. I think that motherfucker's hilarious. Yeah, just about said like some of the oldest stuff that he did, like the BET Awards that made had me dying. I think that was like all improv. He's, Even his wilding out appearances. Quick. Yeah, he's like real fast. I gotta give him that. You know Patrice O'Neal throwing phone books out. I'm pretty sure it's because he probably got picked on a lot. Yeah. So he always had to come back and defend himself. Yeah. That's how it be for us, man. That's, that's how it is growing up in Memphis. You can sit there and get roasted in the cafeteria, or you can go ahead and start firing some shit back. And whether it's funny or not, you know, it's up to everybody who's listening. But as long as you're saying something back, you ain't going down like that. All right. We're going to see how this sounds. Okay, all right. We back at it. I just had to make sure the audio was good. What? Oh, no, no, I, I got this thing recording. I'm trying to, I'm trying to do something different. Any of my stuff. I should. See, look, I I, like, I didn't at first because look, I would get so nervous I would forget to ask somebody else to do it. So that's why I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and come in. I'm gonna hit the record button and then we're gonna see what happens then. <laughs> we're gonna see what happens next. Yo, this thing is like actually surprisingly good at picking up audio. I was even I was able to slightly hear what you were saying. You were just off camera. Huh. That's good. The unknown friend. There it is. Yeah. See, that's why I was like, all right, he can be the cameraman. You want me to? You want me to edit you out from the beginning? Well, I'm trying to make sure you know you comfortable with it. That's why I got an angle that way you can only see me. everybody coming now. It's nice to see y'all's wonderful faces and everything. Now listen, Linda, we about to go through this together. We gonna get through this open mic night. Yeah. We're gonna do this as a family, right? All right, ladies and gentlemen, so I am coming up on my two-year anniversary of being down here in Pensacola, and I gotta say, I like this place. I'm enjoying being in Pensacola. I'm finally starting to feel comfortable because I had to find the things that make me feel comfortable, right? So this is a normal thing for everyone. Check this out. Most people will go and live in places where, you know, you think like one another, where you look like one another, different things like that. But for me, I have certain criteria. For example, I only feel safe if a city has a Waffle House. And not just any Waffle House. Like, I gotta go over there and I gotta inspect this place. If the, the lady at the front desk doesn't call me sugar as soon as I get in there, I'm out. I don't trust it. If she ain't got at least two gold teeth, this ain't a good Waffle House. I don't trust this food. If the homeless man that didn't ask me for a black and mild isn't actually the cook and what comes in and he washes his hands, nah, fam, this ain't it. This place is a fucking trap. I gotta get up out of here. Like, yo, like, let's let's be real. Big shout out to Jason, because I was showing up talking about how I survived COVID and all that stuff. To hell with the vaccine, we ate at Waffle House. That's where I got my real vaccine. You built your immune system up eating over there. Man, look, oh, so it was about, as I die every day trying to at least breathe just a little bit. But man, look, when I tell you, that, that really put our marriage to the test. Because I like to believe I'm a, a toxic individual. I like to believe that, to be completely candid. I like to, you know, tell my wife, hey, you looking good today. Your fat rolls is on point. 
that's what I'm talking about. You know, every now and then I like to jiggle her arm just to let her know, like, ooh, it's about to get going tonight. That's what I need right there. Look, look, if it is, I'm gonna tell y'all this now. See, look, Jason, you a young man. When you get to my age and you see something that you really like, if it don't All right, man, I want to be as candid as possible because, uh, I ain't do too hot tonight, and I know I didn't. Or at least, like, for the, the high standards that I set for myself. So let me get in this car, and we're going to talk about this a little bit. I don't know how I'm angle this, because in my opinion, I didn't really do too well. And just me, you know, being the harshest critic that I know, per usual. You know, I just talked to my homeboy, my friend. He was like, you know, you started off good, and, you know, you deviated a little bit, and, you know, he out of seeing how many times I've gone up before, because this, you know, to be candid, this is like my sixth or seventh time, whatever. But he gave it like a four out of 10, you know what I'm saying? So he, he said it wasn't horrible. You know, I had some laughs and whatnot. But for the standard that I set for myself, for, you know, the upper echelon that I've seen, I already want to put my, I want to get there. I see where Olympus is and I want access into Olympus. And I am i haven't even started climbing up the mountain yet. You know what I'm talking about? So I'm trying to tell myself, take the little victories, you know, remind myself like, all right, you're just not starting out. I only been doing this since like the beginning of February and we're, <laughs> like we're in the middle of March. <laughs> oh man. But Hey, look, fam, if y'all watch this and you know, you, uh, you made it through, I appreciate you. Look, I got a lot of love for anybody who was able to watch this shit. Oh, fuck. I gotta, I gotta calm down and get a hold of these nerves. That's like the main thing for me. Cause as soon, like, I'm, it's been so such a long time since anything's really made me nervous like this. And this is a hard ass art right here. I had some good shit planned up in my head, and I had the sequence that I wanted to go about it. I've been excited for it all day. But as soon as I got up there, game time. And this is like a, a smaller. It's a real small venue. It. I about to say it's like saying there was ten people in there is like pushing it, especially with all the other comedians and whatnot. But I don't want to make any excuses. I know I can do this. I know I can be funnier. All I can do is get better. All I can do is put my head down and try to do more. So I'm a I'm gonna get it, y'all. I'm a fucking <laughs> I'm just gonna have to keep doing it. But in other news, I fucking hate these lamb chops. Maybe, maybe that's it. Maybe the day I can make people laugh over and over and over again like i'm fucking bernie mac like i'm old eddie murphy rich pyre fred sanford like i said fred sanford red fox <laughs> like somebody along those lines cat williams kevin hart like you know when i'm good like that maybe my beard might connect but until then we celebrate the little victories we take our l with, with pride and stride and we go ahead and push forward so with that being said, I do appreciate y'all for watching this video. I feel like I look like a dickhead holding my camera up and talking to it with the lights on in my car. But that's all I got for this video. I do appreciate y'all kicking it with me and, you know, enduring my set. So hopefully I can hopefully I can go up tomorrow. We'll see how tomorrow treats me. But y'all, please make sure you like the video, hit the subscribe button, all that fun stuff in the bag of chips. Go forth and do great things, y'all. Go be great. Peace.